Okay, super quick video recap of the game I just played. Round one of the Tillian Team Cup. This is my Wood Elves. Um, so I'm going to try and do all six rounds of this one and recap each one, see how we go. Um, so I go for Wood Elves on this one. I've got Strip Ball and Frenzy on the War Dancers. I've got a Block Catcher. I've got a Sidestep Catcher for the one turn fun. Um, I've gone for no Tree Men. I've gone for four Catchers. Um, just super, super mobile approach. Um, I've got Leader on the Thrower. And that's it. Um, he's got um, tackle, strip ball on the blitzers. Don't see strip ball on the reason very often. I don't think on the blitzer. Maybe um, more often to see dodge and dodge. I think, but tackle is tackle is good. Uh, block and wrestle on the witches, and then he's got leader on the um, runner, and he's got the assassin there. Um, so I, um, so yeah, I got plus two fame, which is groovy. I lost the toss, and he chose to kick to me. Um, he rolled a blitz to start with, but absolutely no danger at all because the ball was so deep. Um, and also, I, I sort of set up against the blitz as well, so there was no easy way to run through. And it was a bit pointless from that point of view as well. But he did manage to sort of... I mean, I didn't get any hits on his line on the front row, but that didn't really matter. So I just um, I just basically ignored his front row um, and just went for the two hits. Um, didn't entirely think this one through completely in that I should have frenzied this guy off the pitch. Um for some reason I just whacked him with the with the other with this war dancer, but it would have been much more sensible to frenzy him off the pitch. Um but I didn't do that. Oh well. Um I just punched him and then um put my guys in space, got the ball, and then uh, trundled um into sort of into a, a mega screen so he's not getting anywhere near the ball at this stage. Um did leave my war dancer. I d I've never I haven't played lots of wood else, in fairness. Um and so, you obviously, it'd be good to protect your war dancers a lot, um, but um, I didn't. I didn't bother really. Um, but so, so he hit him, um, and he stunned him. Um, here, I just went for the hit. So this is quite nice. I got a block catcher. So I had two assists on there, and uh, took him down. So the the block catcher is a blodger to carry the ball with, uh, but also a, a somewhat a reliable hitter as well. When there's when it's all open in the air like this, you can just get two assists in um, and get the hit on there. Um, so just moving up the pitch, um, don't need to get too close. I just need to avoid him being able to sort of immediately dodge through and, and get the ball. He could have dodged through there with some linos if he wanted to, probably at like a three up, th two up, and we didn't go for that. Um, he did go for a foul on the war dancer in a minute, which is a bit unsporting, uh, quite early on, um, and his assassin got sent off. So I was quite happy with this at this stage. So I've, I've, he's down to nine players. I'm still on the 11, and so I just need to chill out <laughs> for loads of turns, basically. So let's speed it up a bit. Um, went for the hit here. This is the tackle blitzer that I was trying to pick on a bit. Um, and then he picked on him himself by rolling double skulls um, and taking himself off the pitch. So everything really very cosy indeed at this point. Um, so yeah, just I'm, all I'm trying to do here is just not to mess up. Tried to mess up there a bit by advancing my catcher too far, but the witch was lurking there, so I had to go for it backwards, which always feels a bit stupid, um, but I got away with it. I got away with it because I didn't really roll any ones in this... Um, Thing. So I might actually look at my um, stats page at the end because the, the, the dice were slightly bonkers, has to be said. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, he's he falling over there. So I'm just I'm just able to move about at will pretty much. Um, so I just need to, to make sure that I keep things looking reasonably sensible. Um, so yeah, so I've got a cage there and a loose screen on it as well. So all sorts of goodness. That's just absolutely no danger at all, basically. Um, Handed off to the blodge catcher there at that point. I realised that I still had the thrower on the ball. Um, There's no real need for that. Um, so just handed off and got the sort of jungle, Venga bus going there as well. So the extra um, assist in there if he wants, if he fancied dodging in there, which he didn't. Um, and so this is my turn six. Um, and he is just sort of. He's at, no, he's still got one reroll left. Uh, but basically, so I set up camp there. Didn't want to give him two turns to score back. Um, so just I tried to stop him. So he he could have gone for it here. So he's got the wrestle. He's got the block one there, and he's got the wrestle witch in there. I think I'd have been tempted by the three up, four up, two dice block there. Possible frenzy into the crowd, but he didn't go for that one. Um, He's still got the one reroll, so I think I would have gone for that. But as it was, he just punched my people a bit. Um, but yeah, I think I'd have definitely gone for the three up, four up. So I did. I should have probably put another player down here somewhere. This guy's sized up. 
Um, but yeah, I could have left him further out and then put another one there, maybe. But it's all good practice, as that's the idea. So recognizing the sort of limitations on that one. But yeah, I scored. Woohoo! Uh, he had one turn to score. Was cheering fans. Nothing interesting happened there. So I yeah. So I was setting up with eleven, which is really nice. Um, he immediately removed one of my eyes, killed him, um, and then KO'd this guy. So you use the Apo there to keep it ten players on the line. Um, and this was rather unfortunate. So he'd used the reroll because he double sculled, um, and then he picked up the ball, uh, which was fine. But then he went, f he went to go for it. Now why did he do a go for it? I was trying to think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was no, I couldn't, I couldn't blitz the ball carrier. So he he went did an unnecessary go for it and paid the price really, um, which is a shame. Um, but then I so I managed to get a few players forward, um, and then the war dancer. So I could at this stage have picked up the ball, but then I'd have been next to the sideline. Didn't really fancy that, and I didn't really fancy staying there either with the two witches lurking. Um, so all I did was I just left the ball basically unprotected um, because I I didn't see what he could do with it really. So he he could pick up the ball here. And then end up with the ball sort of there-ish, um, maybe throw it over this way, but it's, it's just not very, not very nice really. It's lots, lots, lots of big throws. So if he wanted to go for that, he did. But basically, I didn't swamp too many players forward. I kept a few over there. Hope to knock this guy down, which again was the tackle blitzer, but it didn't happen. Um, so what did he do? So he used up a reroll early with a one dice block, and then he zoomed this blitzer down here. Um, picked up the ball and then chucked it. He got the throw away, um, but he failed to failed to catch, which is lucky for me, so I was able to bring the cover back, um, blitz with the war dancer, and then get the war dancer onto the ball. As I say, I didn't really roll any ones, which makes makes life easy. Um, and from this point on, so I had the ball, um, and it was just a, a bit of a cakewalk to to make it 2-0 at the end, really. So I sort of wandered forward. I don't think there was any nastiness, really. Um, this point, was this yeah, so he could have here. So he, he he's got the wrestle witch here. So he could have dodged in on a five and then gone for the one dice hit with with frenzy. So that was a one in three chance of of knocking down. He didn't have any rerolls left at this stage, which is a bit sad. Um, but yeah, all good really. That was my first one of the match. I think possibly my only one of the match. Um, and so at this stage, I just needed to. So there's absolutely no rush at all. So I just brought it back again. Um, and surrounded it. I felt a bit sorry for the opponent really because there was just nothing. Nothing was going his way and most things were going my way which was lovely to be on my side of the pitch. Um, yeah I didn't take any ridiculous risks I don't think. Um, the, the worst I took was a sort of 1 in 81. Um, the 1 in 9 with a reroll. Uh, I suppose 1 in 36 is so I did that handoff there. So Snake Eyes would have would have killed me but um, but didn't, so that was alright. Um, and I'd kept it fairly safe as well. So yeah, it's a comfortable 2-0 win. So hopefully the rest of the uh, tournament goes that way. Excellent stuff.